It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Carolina Panthers and the Tennessee Titans. Coming up next. All in all, we have a pretty pleasant December day in the Volunteer State. The chilly rain from last night has moved on. The temps have bumped up a bit here at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Tennessee Titans. Brandon Gordon joined by Tennessee Sports Hall of Famer Charles Davis. And CD, these Titans stumbled a bit last year. They were coming off six straight winning seasons, a number one seed in 2021, but they fell to seven and 10 a year ago. A major surprise because it certainly looked like they had the division locked up around midseason. The big key for them, more consistency at the quarterback position, keeping their guy healthy and being able to run the football as impressively as they've done in the past. Meanwhile, optimism reigning with the visiting Panthers. They've got a new coach, they've got a new quarterback, and they've got a real chance to be a playoff team in 2023. And a lot of it starts on the defensive side of the ball where they've been good for the last few seasons. If the offense joins them, they will be a tough out in the NFC South. Blackshear now on the return. And he returns this to the 22. So here are the Panthers set to take over for the first time. And Charles will get a look at the much heralded rookie Bryce Young, the first overall pick from April's draft. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. They run with a third year man, Chuba Hubbard. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play and it's second down. Here's Young. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. The touch and timing are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Young working out of the gun. Shot him, it's incomplete. A little bit of finger pointing and heavy discussion going on in the defensive backfield. It's man coverage, but they leave a guy wide open. They've got to be counting their lucky stars that this ball was overthrown. Carolina punt team out there led by Johnny Hecker. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return, and it'll be Titan football. So a new face at quarterback for the Titans in 2023. It's the 24-year-old rookie out of Kentucky, Charles, Will Levis. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there in every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. The NFL's second leading rusher in 2022. Here's Derrick Henry to about the 40-yard line. Second down and six now. Oh, 
Again, it's Henry. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Draw play, this is Henry. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're gonna have to punt here on the opening drive. So many things go into making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start, and then a nice tackle to finish things off. On now is Ty Zentner to punt. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach... Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Young on first down. He gets this one to Hubbard complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big pickup of 38. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Young. That one complete. He finds Shark. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. And they're going to stop play here. And the injury is to, yeah, that's DJ Shark, the receiver, who's in need of some help right now. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Here's a second and five. Young now. And that's going to be incomplete. They're giving him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. It'll be Young again. Work in the middle of the field. And he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Panthers. Tommy Trimble. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Panthers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7-0 lead. A drive there of just four plays. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And the last 
drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. From the 38 now, here's second down and seven. They'll run it again with Henry. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Now Levis. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Defense was thinking run of their delta pass of just under 20 yards. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Levis. That'll be complete to a conqueror. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. I know sometimes we can get four when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because... He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Here now, second and four. Inside handoff, Henry. There's a nice move, and he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time, they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing drive. And again to the end. Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Titans are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, I think Josh Norman can sympathize. He knows a little something about a run like this from Derrick Henry. I mean, that stiff arm might be the best in the business. Oh, there's no doubt about it. We'll see that Josh Norman play forever and ever, won't we? Because at Derrick Henry's size, 6'3", nearly 250, you know he's not shying away from contact. And here he just kept the defender at arm's length as he barreled his way into the end zone. I mean, just put that arm into the chest. And there he goes. Full connects on the extra point, And we are tied at seven. Seven now as they kick it away. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Now the Panthers' offense, they get set to come back onto the field. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. 3-4 defense, and that old line really dominated the D-line on that play. And think of it this way. With a 3-4, you have a natural bubble over each guard because those guys don't have defenders over them. Oftentimes, if you want to run up the middle, they can get upfield and get on the linebackers right now, and that gives the running back a heck of a chance to get into the secondary. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Now a third and six. Young will set to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 38-yard line. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. First and 10, Young. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it's second down. To throw, Young. He'll get this to the rookie, Jonathan Mingo. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. And yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. On second down, Young. There's Trimble, the tight end. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Join the Panthers from the NFC champs. It's Miles Sanders. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through. Pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped, but what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. Young. And he's going to be taken down. Sacked back around the 18-yard line. Harold Landry drops him for a loss of 12 
field, and it also brings up fourth down. When it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage, how about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge for the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So Young will head to the sideline, and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. That's just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt, just the way you used to hit them, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was in high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level you hit them, they go through them. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action, and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Well, they run with Henry on first down, but nothing much materializing as he'll get forward only for about a yard. Second and nine now from the 21. Back to throw, it's Levis. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Partner's not just a little slot receiver, he's got a little trepidation going across the middle. Even the big guys, even guys like a tight end, they got a little concern going across there, going through the briar patch. Maybe hearing some footsteps, getting a little gator arm. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Levis to throw it. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? <laughs> you talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. An 11 yard pickup for the Titans at a first down. Levis sets up to throw here. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Second and ten, here's Levis. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Here's Levis. 
but he missed him, and it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Here's Ty Zentner now. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. First play of the drive, a first down run. Well, that sets you up for whichever way you want to go. Do you come right back and run the football again because you've got them on their heels? Or do you play chess match with them, break tendency, and go play action and go for the big shot? He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and six. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. The play fake. Now Young. That is caught. And some room to run now. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. So operating from Tennessee territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball and pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. That throw by Young incomplete. He was looking for Adam Thielen there. And that'll bring up second down. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. On running plays, linemen, of course, have their assignments. That's expected. But it's not often you're expecting to see a cornerback blitzing in run support and tackling the runner for a loss. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. Young to throw it. They'll air one out deep for Mingo. Touchdown! 
Jonathan Mingo. 37 yards. And the Panthers are able to extend their lead. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You can see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. A 10-play drive that time. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out come the Titans now. They find themselves down 17-7 as they start this drive first and 10. Levis looking to throw. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Following the interception, Young. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. So back to back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. Young working out of the gun. And that is incomplete. Fourth down now as the Titans defense holds up in coverage. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. 
Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. They begin with Henry. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And not a whole lot doing there, as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Brings up third and four. The offense on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Levis back to throw. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. On now is the Titans punter as he's on to kick it away. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. The Carolina offense about ready to go. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Aziz Alshair, former 49er, in on the tackle. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Now Young. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. They brought the house that time on the Young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Levis now off of play action. That's complete to Traylon Burks. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and a couple. Levis from the gun. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. This offense can 
certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. You get down near the goal line, you need to start enlisting the help of all 11 guys on the defense. And that's a nice job there by the cornerback, squaring his shoulders and coming in to make the tackle. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll give Henry another shot. Second touchdown here in this first half. And the Titans have got it back to within a score. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Extra point up and good by Folk, and the lead will shrink to six. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game? And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Looking to throw, Young. And his throw here's incomplete. change of possession here on the punt and that will come the offense as they take over. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. They're behind in the first half here CD but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that partner because watching him play you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. So no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Levis trying to get his guys set as quickly as possible. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. 
call it a gain of a yard, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Titans moving quickly here. They're in the hurry up. Levis on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. On now is the Titans punter. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. The Panthers going to go back on offense here late in this first half, and we'll see what they want to do. 45 seconds is all that remains until the break. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Young. Open man left side, it's the tight end Trimble. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Now here's Young. They'll run the screen with Hubbard. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Titans offense set to begin the drive and the ball backed way up so thinking with this amount of time on the clock probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers yeah I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation either side of the ball just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it two yards on the pickup there it'll be second and eight so we have reached halftime and what's a six-point game at the break as we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando in our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you have to think, 
the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. This taken in right around the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Holding offense. So not a lineman, but the tight end instead this time, drawing the holding call. And more and more of what you're getting with tight ends are guys who are much more receiver than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. 67 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Second and 14. They run wide side with Henry. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now Levis. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Levis to throw it. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Jeremy Chin so dangerous wherever he's at on the field, and that time he gets in there for the sack. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. So eight yards on the completion there, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Levis sets up to throw here. In trouble, and he's taken down. Derek Brown, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. And that sack, Charles, just looked like a case where a speedy defensive end is a little bit quicker than the offensive tackle. Yeah, it makes it difficult for a tackle to determine what exactly to do. Do you do the kick slide and try and get back in the pocket and meet him there? Do you meet him on the line of scrimmage where they call a quick set? In any event, right now, he's having his troubles. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And they will take over first and 10. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. Yeah. 
On first down, they'll start out with Hubbard. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. We've seen that before. Jeffrey Simmons making a stop behind the line. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. you got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. That was a good, strong run there. And while it won't pick up a first down, it was definitely something needed by that offense. A positive run. They got a good push by their guys up front. Maybe something they can build on as this game continues. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for Carolina. Fair catch called for and collected right at the 10-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Titans will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. Try and get the run game going. This is Henry. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Jeremy Chin there defensively. Second and seven. Levis. Throw right side. Going to be taken in by Henry. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. is the Titans punter as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41 yard line and they'll start on the ground with Hubbard and good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45 yard line 51 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times first play of the drive excellent run just sets up wash rinse repeat another first down They run the option here on first and 10. 20! And yeah, he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. What a run there. I mean, you've got speed, elusiveness, escapability all rolled into one. And we all know that quarterbacks are coached. They get the ball to the guys who can do all the things you just described. 
You want those guys who have speed, elusiveness, and escapability. Oh, well, rolling to one with the ball in their hands, and guess what? It's him. So there's no sense in throwing their hand in it off when you can do all of that yourself. Second and ten. They'll try to throw down. Young. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Jeffrey Simmons picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And you get the feeling, Charles, yeah, he's got the two sacks now, but he may get more here. We still got a quarter and then some to go. And the way that he is playing this game, it reminds me of one of the best golfers in the world who could use every club in the bag and make a great shot. That's what he's doing with his pass rush moves right now. Showing a little bit of everything. They have no way of stopping him. On the draw, here's Sanders. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16 yard line. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. Even though they were stopped before the first down marker, well-executed run there by the offense. It certainly was, and the best part about it, it opens up other plays, especially the play-action passing game. Because if you can sell the run, that brings the linebackers up, and you can throw over the top of them and in front of the safeties. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. Taking it at about the one. And the Titans getting set to go. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. Here's Levis. Short throw taken in by Conco. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Back to throw, it's Levis. Going to the right here and finding Burks. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Levis looking to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Second 10 coming up here in Nashville. Third quarter action. Levis out of the shotgun now. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and 10. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, 
what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Again, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 20-yard line. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. down carry for Henry three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down final minute now of the third quarter working from the gun here's Levis toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Levis back to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. Folk's kick is good, and that'll move him back within six now. So three points, maybe not a grand prize at this stage, but it does get them back within one score. It certainly does because now they stay within shouting distance. So that means everyone on your sideline stays engaged in this game. They know they still have a shot. Kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now the offense for the Panthers here, getting the football back. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Young on first down. Checks this down to Hubbard. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caught. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Adam Thielen, touchdown Carolina. Adam Thielen, 76 yards. And the Panthers are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right, he looks comfortable. What are they doing, anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. 
where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Pinheiro now to kick this one away. Oh, some strong running. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Tennessee offense set to go again. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second down and a yard. He'll drop to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. And he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They're able to convert with a gain of four. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, oh, he's a nice luxury to have, isn't he? So from the 36 now, first and 10. Again, it's Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Ball on the 39, here's the second and eight. Levis from the gun. Over the middle, into the hands of Burks. It'll go down as a gain of six. And now one yard to go on third down. Henry up the middle, shedding the tackler, and it gives him some room. 102 yards on the ground now for Henry. He's got a first down. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done, so now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before, and he's also telling the defensive linemen, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. Second and ten. Here's Levis. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. They're going to look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A big gain of 31 on third down. 
They absolutely had to take some chances downfield trailing here in the fourth quarter. So why not go four verticals, send the guys downfield, say make a play? And that's one of the favored routes of offensive coordinators. You know why? Because receivers can be open at any point running that route. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now again, it's Levis looking to throw it. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Here's second and 10. Back to throw again. Over the middle, he has a Kakuo. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That's a gain of seven. Brings up third and three. They'll look to throw again. And it's a Titans touchdown. from six yards away. And the Titans have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. connects on the extra point and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter the kickoff this fielded right at the goal line and beyond the 20 but not by much in fact just a yard pass there to the 21 Adam Thielen he gets set to go again with the rest of this offense and I know that they double teamed him a couple times but not a ton whatever they're doing isn't working he's up over 100 yards we'll see how they adjust and when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. On first and 10, Young. He gets this one to Hubbard, complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. That turns into a very well orchestrated play right there. Going to work his way out of the backfield to the right. And after he looked it in, he found plenty of space to roll and picked up big yardage. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Here is Young. Young to throw again on second and 10. And his throw is incomplete. And Tommy Trimble, the intended target, and it's third down. To the air once more, Young. So the coach putting the blitz on, and remember, that coach 
former defender in this league. He loves this. Yeah, they love to see it happen because I think they just have that flashback about when they were playing, right? <laughs> That's what we were taught. That's what we did. And they and they use that same impact with their own teams and do the same type of teaching. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And at this stage, in the fourth, they need to work this into the end zone. A field goal doesn't do much. We'll see if they can cash in following the fumble recovery. Levis to throw on first and ten here. He gets this one to Burks. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Six. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. The Pro Bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. On third and goal, they're going to run the option. Trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. I know this is your spot, partner, so forgive me for jumping in, but there's no decision right here. They have to go for it in this situation. They're down on the scoreboard. How many other opportunities are you going to get? Yeah, I'm with you. Fourth quarter, like you said, down on the scoreboard. And remember here, a field goal virtually does them no good. Desperation time now. Here's Levis. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. He couldn't get the ball away on fourth and goal. And the Panthers' defense able to deliver the goal line stand. A breakdown by the O-line at the worst possible time. Fourth and goal, and it leads to a sack. And I can just see it now. The, on the sidelines, they're telling the quarterback, you've got to get rid of it somehow, some way. At least get it in the end zone and give us a chance. If we throw an interception, so what? A sack? We didn't even have a chance. kick off the drive and it's a quick first down well that last run for a first down it really should be the last straw for the defense i don't care how many they've had in the box they need to add more people so a much rosier picture now after that last play here's first and 10 at the 19 yard line young open man is mingo complete he'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six Second down and four. They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. 
And this is going to be a Panthers first down as he gets this up past the 30. Let's face it, when you have a guy who can pick up those types of runs and keep the chains moving or stay ahead of the chains, you're making everyone else on offense happy because you're opening things up to allow for a whole lot of different play calls. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First down, they'll stay on the ground with Hubbard. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. Two yards on the pickup there. And now it's third and three. is taken around the 12 and bulldozing his way through so a good punt there but a very strong 14 yard return and it'll be titan football so levis and the titans now down by five a minute 50 to play they need a touchdown a field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and ten Levis to throw. A short throw taken in by Conquo. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. They'll come up now, second and nine. Levis. They set up the screen for Henry. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. And they've used him in the passing game to great effect so far. And here they get it to him again on the screen. And it turns into a nice positive play. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Levis, he'll look to throw it. Levis is caught. He hits one. Titans first down as they get five there on third and two. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Here's Levis. He'll complete this one. You're Kakura. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Here's first and 10. Here's Levis. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Now first and goal. Levis. 
Toward the pylon, caught. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Now second down and a few inches. Throwing now, here's Levis. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the four. Wow, wow. Charles, what a big drive late in the fourth quarter to take this lead. And normally you're really excited if your offense has the ball late in the game. But I think this crew is really excited to have their defense go back out there because they haven't surrendered a point in the fourth quarter yet. They've helped make this comeback possible with their defensive play. Now they get a chance to finish this game off. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. The goal line, especially on two point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius, as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. And now it's the Panthers' turn, trailing by three after the touchdown and two point conversion. 33 seconds to go. They've surrendered a double digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Young to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Young. His throw incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Here's Young. going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. Now Young. And it's knocked away and incomplete. With such little time remaining, and that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. Now that's just simply good coaching and excellent technique on that play. You know why? Because wow. everyone wants to rush the passer when they want to throw the football, but you're not always going to get there. So what are you taught to do? When the ball's finally thrown, get your hands up in the passing lanes, and they batted that one away. No, 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 no.
Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. The Titans go victory formation as they take an E. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Levis takes a knee here, and that should just about do it. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but they were able to get the job done, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> no doubt about it. And let's face it, they had to be more than nervous in the fourth quarter. But a lot of that was their own doing. I think you observed during the game, their energy level just didn't seem to be there. But in the fourth quarter, somehow they dug deep and found that extra bit, right, that reserve tank. They hauled it out. Offense 